Hey guys, so before the video actually starts, I just wanted to show you the tools that I used for changing the shifter. Uh, it's already finished. Um, she can't really tell from there, but she's a whole lot higher than she was. Um, I used an adjustable wrench. Um, I really wish I had a smaller, either a smaller adjustable or um, actual wrenches. I did mention that I wanted it. I, I wish I had a line wrench, but I don't even think a line wrench would have did me any good here. Um, yeah, it wouldn't have done me any good. Uh, so I used an adjustable. I wish it was smaller uh, or even just a small regular wrench. Um, I also used, I believe this is the right one, a uh, Torx bit. Anyway, uh, I used the Torx bit, it's a T20. That, that was the only bit that I needed for the entire shifter. Um, had one in the back, one in the front, uh, two on the top, and that was it. So four of them, I used a quarter inch drive ratchet and a flathead screwdriver. That was to pop off the top. Those are the tools that I use. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope it's helpful. How are we doing guys? Today I am going to attempt on changing my shifter height. I'm not looking for anything dramatic. I am only looking to get it, I mean it's basically at my leg height right now. And I, I just want it a little higher. Uh, then its current position is right there is kind of uncomfortable so I already went over and talked to the um, parts department here I'm in Raffine Rafine Raffine or Rafine I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced uh, I guess it could go either way. Um, I went over and found out the airline is 14 cents an inch. I'm figuring I'm going to need at least a foot because I'm doing a six inch extension, uh, which my little sister bought me uh, for Christmas. So, uh, I just need the airline and the fittings. Fittings are what cost the most. Those, he said, well, he showed, pulled up the, uh, the direct connect. Um, and he pulled up the other one. So, I guess depending on what I need, which is why I'm taking it apart right now. To figure out uh, exactly what I'm going to need. I should have popped the head off first. That's not going to make a difference at this point. Um, so, this is the best place I could put the camera. It's in the, just by the cup holders. You can see my big old hands. Alright, so now i got to get this head off. Put these screws down here on the floor. See my did my clean clothes. <laughs> I haven't put them away yet, but I just finished washing them about 20 minutes ago. Um, the uh, the connectors. Uh, oh, the connectors are like nine dollars a piece. So that'd be like 18 bucks right there just for the connectors and then another dollar forty uh, for the airline. Uh, look at my screwdriver. Oh. Add one right there on the door. So I hate popping these things out because they tend to 
tend to stay loose after you pop them out the first time. This one's freaking in there though. I'm trying not to mess up the rubber. I plan on getting a uh and she's really in there. I'm just tweaking the rubber. Um Finally, get another shifter boot in the, uh, or not a boot, but a shifter knob in the near future. But in the meantime, I don't want it to be uncomfortable. And and these things, and these uh, these gear pattern pieces come out. I know from a lot of the rental trucks I used to drive. Um, you just get that hollow noise effect. Uh, coming out, so you gotta like cup it with your hand while you're driving. Good lord. It should not be this hard. Looks like somebody freaking glued it in there. Like I said, you are not taking me out. Good. God. Somebody freaking glued it or something in there. There we go. Trying to get it so you guys can see it. See, I already tore it up there pretty good. She's popping up now. Good lord. She was in there. And somebody used freaking glue or something to stick it down in there. Or it might have come from the factory like that. Doesn't look like anybody's ever messed with it, so. Probably that between that and the grime, and I'm sure they put some type of a sealant in there. Oh well, got it out. I haven't made up my mind on what kind of head I want to get. Thought about one that sits off to the side. Alright, so let's try to finish this up. Uh, I had to move my truck. Because, well, the guy that was parked next to me, he was in a better spot. I moved there, and then I realized that that was a crappy spot. <laughs> but he had, there was more room in that spot, but it's actually on the corner, and I don't like to be on the corner. For the simple fact of a lot of the drivers today don't pay attention to what the hell they're doing, and they like to take bumpers off and hoods. So I'm in a pretty good spot right now where they can straight line back right in alongside me. And I don't have to worry about somebody cutting the corner too short. Alright, so we got the head off. So, looks like I just uh, unscrew these two. Red and black. Not taking this apart today. So I just got to grab my adjustable wrench. I used to have a smaller, smaller pair. 
I'm not sure what happened to them. Let's see, if I go this way, it's tightened. So I gotta come back the opposite way. I'll pull back. Wow, that bitch is tight. Not tighter than I anticipated. Keep forgetting to grab my actual wrenches, so this would be a lot easier if I had my line wrenches. That, and if it wasn't in such a crappy location. Let's try for this one first. You have the shifter back in low position, first gear on this 10 speed. I need that line afterwards. Um, well, I got it in first for uh, the benefits of the camera. Shit, am I going the right way? No, going the wrong way, dumbass. Yeah, that's some bitches in there, huh? There we go. It's hard because I can't get, can't get a real good weight on it. With these adjustables. Alright, so we got the black line done. Let's see if we can get the red one done. Again, can't get a bite on it. Oh, man. I don't know. Click, so it should be out. There we go. Got that one off. Now this one is being a bitch. Well, I didn't want to crack this thing open, but I think I'm going to have to. Can't get a bite on that damn thing. Looks like it's only one screw. Well, the last one I took apart was two screws. Looks like this one only has one, though. noise you guys are hearing is my inverter. I know I said it on the last video, but I should point it back out. There is two screws. Yeah, not that it's making much of a difference for me. I have to turn once, and I can turn it back once, partially. Hey, we got to come around again. There we go. Just need to get good pressure on there. I need like a, a line socket or something. Something along them lines. Very thin wall wrench. Beautiful. All right, so now we gotta open up, back off our our nut. That nut right there. I just backed it off. It was up like that. Backed it off down there. And now I'm just going to I'm gonna tighten this back up real quick. My ratchet go. So I'm gonna let the 
I have taken these heads apart once before and uh, I, I assure you splitting this apart uh, is a pain in the ass. Now, I'm just going to unscrew this. A lot of rust in there. Let's give it a shot with the air. No, it's probably not rust. Loctite. No, nope. can't do the air because we let it all out. I'll have to do that again some other time. I want to do this right after Christmas. But I didn't have any airline to do it with. Alright, so there's our black rod. I'm pretty much going black with everything on this truck. Kind of disappointed. This has got a bunch of scratch marks on it. This camera, camera's over here. Got a bunch of little like scratch marks and stuff on it. I don't know if they're gonna come out. Maybe after I wash it down a little bit. So that's it. Shifter's gonna be a little taller. And you know what? I'm going to pull this nut off of here. There's plenty of these videos out there. Um, the one place I usually go to, and I'll put the website up here in a second, is uh, Rainey's, Renee's. I always forget how they say it. Um, but that's where I usually go for my my aftermarket parts. They're a pretty good website. They have a lot of stuff. They also have a YouTube. I'll put that down in the description. Um, I'll put the website and the and the YouTube in the description. Um, but they have uh, a few videos on there of the, the products that they sell. That'll help out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nut and tighten it down. I'm using it to, to tighten the, ball, the extension down. Get a nice tight, get it nice and tight there and then back the nut back off. So I can't, I can't loosen this with my hand. I need to, I'll have to put another nut if I ever want to take it off. I'll put another nut here, tighten it down to this nut, and then use this nut to back off. Which, it won't have anywhere to go, so it'll, it'll put its force back on the bar. So, we'll put this nut back down, and I'll put the shifter head back on here. That's definitely a metal spur. That did not tickle. So I will adjust my shifter to where I need it. Now remember it was down here, just below my leg, and now it's up above my leg, a lot more comfortable. Plus, I should be able to um, have better leverage on 
putting it through the gears. So it seems right right there. So I'll take this nut and I'll put it back up against that so it doesn't turn. Unless I really force it to. There we go. Now I just need to extend my airlines. This piece used to be right here. So that's how much higher it is. This was right here. Uh, yeah, right here. You can see now, when you look at my leg, it was down here before, and now I'm up here. So, 